Hello everyone, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today is something very exciting. Um, I've got my current reading journal beside me here, but in this box is my 2024 reading journal and I'm super excited. So um, let's not mess around. I've covered my address so we're good to go and open the box. Um, let me just try and get it out of the box first before we... There we go, we've got a bit more room. Now, like with the last um, journal opening video, um, I have one for my best friend in here. We always seem to buy at the same time to save on shipping, so um, there are two journals in here, and as you can see by the package, they are already quite big compared to my little journal here so this year I decided to go with a notebook therapy b5 journal and um, sorry for next year um, and I've never had a b5 journal before so I'm very excited to see how it will work for me um, I'm just going to rip down the side here very excited okay Oh, the packaging is lovely. So we both got from the Midsummer's Night, Midsummer Night's Dream Collection. Um, so this one is actually mine on the bottom here. Um, and we will very quickly take a peek because I know my best friend is fine with me having a quick look at what's inside her box. Yeah. So we'll just take it out of packaging for her. We'll take the lid off and then we'll put it back on. We won't actually open it because it's for her to open. Um, but she got the Sun one. I can't remember what it's called. I will link it below. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, that's adorable. She's going to love that actually my kind of color we're very weird um she's more of a neutral type of person and lately she's been getting colors that i would normally pick and then i would am picking colors that she would normally pick um <clears throat> so it's been really interesting um oh yeah so it's got the design on the front so leave me i didn't even notice that so there's the sun one and then i got this one with the b because i really liked it and i love the color of the journal um I've done, um, sorry, with all the rattling, I'm sure you can hear me. I've done um, bullet journaling since 2017, so I've had all the colors. Like right now, my every day is this bright yellow, so um, you can expect that I've tried many colors. I haven't got very many pink on my shelf, only two, but I've got like four or five different blues, so it's time for me to do different colors. And I definitely don't have many brown. Um, I do have a brown, but not this brown. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I'm so happy already. <gasps> it's so nice, but unfortunately, I didn't realize it was like this soft velvet type covering. Oh, I don't like velvet, but I absolutely love it. I'm just going to get used to it. Oh no, it's suede. It's all right. I don't know why I thought it was velvet. <gasps> it's so pretty, and it's also really, really big. <laughs> so we'll just get that out of the way. Um... Oh my goodness, look at the spine. Can you see that? It's got like little flowers and stars all along the foiled edge and a little bee down here. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm really happy with it already and I haven't even opened it. Uh, it says notebook therapy at the back with a little bee. And... Just got the front um, plate page, name plate page. Um, and then we go straight into the dot grid. And I'm very happy to say that these dots don't upset me like the ones in the last journal update. They are very good little dots. Oh, I'm really happy with how well this sits flat. Oh, I really, really like it. <laughs> So I went with the B5 because I wanted to try something bigger um, and it also comes with quite a few pages so I feel like it could be a bit more creative for 2024. Um, 
I'm really excited to use this journal. And then there should be, at the back here, a little paper clip. Yep, I can feel it. So this one says, treat every day like the sweetest honey. They've spelt sweetest wrong. And save it every moment. <laughs> That's so cute though. Okay. And then we've got the typical um, elastic closure and the gusset pocket at the back. And then we should have a little... Oh, it's a little bee! Little bee paperclip. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's all really that I needed to share. This is a very short video otherwise. Um, but I'm very, very happy with how this is looking already. I can't wait to set it up. I have big plans for this page right here. She purchased something so I can put it here. That's how like, I'm excited for this. There is, I think, 176 pages in this one. So it's even more pages than this one here. Um, so I have to try and think about how I'm going to set things up. Um, it's going to be quite a challenge um, with a new size. But I'm very excited to try it out and take on that challenge. But as you can see, just side by side, the difference already. It's so cute. Unfortunately, this cover is going to pick up every single crumb on my desk. <laughs> so I'm going to have to protect that somehow. As you can see, this one does as well. Um, it's seen better days. But I can't believe the difference in size. So before I go away and finish this video, I do want to do a couple of stats things for this journal because... Um, maybe you want to look into AB5 yourself and you want to know how big it is. Um, obviously it's B5 size um, and that, let me just go to this flat page here, works out to be, let me just clean my ruler off, don't want to ruin the paper before I even use it. So that ends up being the dots at least are uh, 23 centimeters down. I'm sorry, I don't know what that would be in inches, and or 16 across, so 23 by 16, um, they are definitely 0.5 um, dot grid spacing, and what else is there to talk about, this is definitely 160 GSM paper. It feels very on par with other 160 GSM papers that I've worked with. I don't really want to do a pen test because I don't think I'm going to need to, but I suppose we could do one just on this page here together. Um, let's grab a mild liner. That's three lines over top, and you can't even see it through the page. Perfect. Um, I know what we will use. Oh, where did that come from? I'm not very good at pen testing. Like, I, I don't... I know everyone else, when they're doing reviews of journals, like to pen test and have, like, a fancy way of doing things, and they organise which pens they're going to use, and... I just grab things and hope for the best. This is my paint markers. I've gone over that twice. As expected, this pen is going to be absolutely fine on this paper. I can guess that my watercolors are going to be perfect on here. I actually have to go out the door. So I think what I might do is off camera or late, later on, set up with a whole bunch of other pens and stuff um, to do a bit of a pen test on this page um, and I'll stamp some stuff as well with the memento ink and the stays on ink like I did last time mm, I can't really think of anything like if those pens aren't gonna bleed through I don't think what will anything else will um, that I use which is perfect um, but we'll do a pen test anyway um, I'll get to that when I get home
Okay, so I'm so sorry that I missed a bit of filming of this um, bit up here. I thought I had the camera going and I didn't, so um, I did write them out, but I'll just quickly go through. I did the exact same pens, or at least most of them, as I did for my last journal um, pen test. And we have a mild liner here. I did use a different color this time around. I'm not sure what this was. I'll have to look back at the footage because I am obviously filming this on a very different day than the one that I filmed it on. I don't think I was wearing this top in that one. It's been several days. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's one of these markers here, which is the Colpart. Uh, acrylic markers so they're quite inky and um, a paint pen essentially um, I think that's what that is um, we've got a Tombow jewel brush pen in the same color as I used last time again I use the same Crayola super tip um, I've got the same Tombow Fudenosuke in purple the Faber Castell Pit Artist pen in the same size I use the same Staedtler metallic marker um, I think this is the same color as the last time when I did the um, paint pot marker and also an acrylograph down here. I stamped the same stamp with Memento black ink and stays on navy ink. And I haven't looked, obviously, because I've just talked about what I've done. And as you can see, no ghosting, no bleeding. I should move the camera. I'm so sorry. I mean the book. No ghosting, no bleeding, no nothing. This paper is going to be perfect for what I need it to be. I cannot remember if I did an outro to the last portion when I filmed this, but um, I'll just do another one just in case. Thank you so much for watching this um, journal opening. I am definitely going to have to figure out a way to film this one. I think I'm going to have to extend up my, um, my rig. To, <laughs> it's just such a big book. Um, to fit in though it'll be nice to be able to focus on what I'm doing rather than the whole page at some points we'll see how that goes I'll have to try filming it and, and mess around a little bit off camera well let me rephrase that I will film it but I won't share the content probably <laughs> so I can figure out how to work best with this journal um, but I'm really, really happy with it. I, Like I said, it's been a few days. The excitement from when I opened it has definitely worn off, but I'm still very excited to be using this journal. I'm already thinking about getting myself another one for my every day. I don't really need to, but I'm just so happy with the quality of this journal um, compared to the last one. And I'm very excited to see where this one will go. And um, yeah, very excited for 2024 now. The only thing that's stopping me from setting this up is I'm actually working on the giveaway journal and I want to talk a little bit about that really quickly with you guys and um, especially if you don't know I did a giveaway journal over on Instagram and here it is I think I did an opening of it I can't remember I have done so many videos this year and I've like my brain is a sieve right now um, this is the giveaway journal it has been won by someone I'm currently setting it up for her I am behind but thankfully she lives in New Zealand so I know I'm gonna get this to her on time um, and I have done the setup pages and you will see whoops we're off camera um, all of this being set up I took videos of everything and so over the month of November on every Tuesday I'm hoping to get content out to you of this journal. Um, I have a lot filmed already and I think I might have to carry over into December as well depending because I'm setting up the entire journal so now that we've got just through those collection pages right there I'm going to be moving along to page 20 because I'm going to leave some space for her if she needs any extra challenges she's got space to put them in herself and I'm going to start setting up January right here I'm actually going to go start filming that well setting up for filming it very soon once I finish this video and um, because like I said I am behind I have 12 months to put into this book along with some quarterly stats so um, very excited to see how this is all gonna look for my friend um, who won this and yeah gonna be sharing this so this is first and then in December I will set this one up and I'm probably not gonna film it um, it'll take the pressure off for me I have enjoyed filming the setup for this because I don't normally 
film my setups but I have to admit when I'm trying to figure out my layouts and stuff I do like to just do it rather than think about how it's going to look on camera so like I do every year I think I'll just do the flip through at the start of the year for you all um yeah it's it's a big book and I want to learn how to work with it without feeling any pressure and then when we get to January obviously I will be filming that portion um, and I did mention it in my last video I'm gonna put a poll up on my community posts about it about whether or not I should continue on with the collage themed Pinteresty board setups that I do for each month um, I'm not really tired of them yet but I'm worried that the content will get kind of tedious and repetitive so wondering if anyone would like a different kind of setup for next year um, so I will put that poll up in the community post hopefully tonight as well um, once I've posted this video up so again thank you so much for spending some time with me and seeing the journal that I have chosen for 2024 I'm very very excited and happy that it's here and I will be hopefully setting it up and enjoying myself with it very soon as well and until we next meet I hope you're having fun reading or in the case of um, setting up for 2024 journaling and I will be back with a new video very soon bye everyone <laughs>